Okay, Captain Boomerang here for the final time tonight, probably, and syncing up now. Here we go. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, Captain Boomerang back for Let's Play Jack 2, part 5 of our adventure of blowing stuff up and stuff. Anyway, in the last part, we helped Sig uh, bleh, we helped Sig bag some metalheads for the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon. And in this part, we're going to continue on. But before we continue on, I got some ore business to attend to. Yeah, we got to do that stuff. Well, oh, wow, that was weird. Anyway, so first you want to book it over to this island. Try to avoid the creepy lady robot thing of death that will kill you in one hit. Because it is in the water, and it will shoot you, and it will kill you in one hit, whether you like it or not. So, over here we've got an orb, so just collect that. It's really easy, guys, no problem at all. So, also, make sure you're straight. Okay, now, if we come all the way over here. Alright, okay, I'm actually kind of happy that the lady didn't come and shoot me. It's not an actual lady, it's, a com it's like a robot that shoots you and kills you, but it's really scary and it has a woman's voice, so. You know, like a, a lady robot, kind of like, um... GLaDOS or that weird robot from iRobot, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, coming over here full circle, uh, we got one last orb here. And after we get this orb, that will have cleared out the pumping station. So you can check that list off. So now we've got two areas done, which would be the, the fortress where we were held prison, and we've also got the pumping station, so that's nice. I'm just going to ignore those juice goons. Hate juice goons! And... That that cut that basically covers it for this area. So, um, I guess I would perform a cut, but we're kind of right next to the entrance, so I don't really see any point. So, I guess I'm not cutting then. So, uh, our next mission is going to be with crew. But before we do that, we are probably going to be speaking to the Oracle because we have 26 skull gems. 25 are needed to learn the next uh, Dark Jack attack. That rhymed, and I didn't even know it. I'm a poet, I didn't know it. Something more rhymes. I got none. I'm done. Oh, I got... Oh, wow. I said I don't have any rhymes, and I made a rhyme. That's kind of neat. Anyway, so let's come around here, grab this zoomer, and head on over to the Oracle. After I'm done with the Oracle, we are going to be cutting all the way over to the port, which is where crew is. So, anyway, let's go to the Oracle and get our dark jack thing. Oh, wow, that was interesting. No epic points, but still interesting. Here we go. You do well to rid the world of this metal scourge. As a reward, I grant you a dark power. Sweetness. We got Dark Bomb. Press X in squares. Basically a ground smash that's devastating. What do you say we take this baby out for a test drive? Wait, what? can't get out of here. Well, that's no fun. What am I going to do? Blow up the candles? That's stupid. Now, something I do want to note is that it's really interesting to me that when you were, when he was, like, zapping him with that dark energy laser or whatever, oh, oh, I can take it for a test drive. Eh, okay, fine. I'm not going to take it for a test drive just yet, but I can't wait to try that out. That's a, that's a pretty sweet dark jack move. Anyway, uh, now we're going to be heading to the pumping station. And we're going to see crew there, and we're going to get a mission from crew, and that's what's going to be happening. And cut after this explosion! Okay, so here we are in the port section. As you can see, I usually can't get anywhere in Haven City without tripping out high alert. But whatever, I don't care about that anymore. It used to scare me, but now it doesn't scare me anymore. You guys are just stupid guards. What are you going to do? Shoot me with your stupid lasers? I don't think so. Anyway... Uh, here's Hip Hog Heaven Saloon, and we're here we're gonna go and get our next mission. And it didn't explode. I'm having a rotten day today. Here we go. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So. Um, you? Who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll 
I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metal heads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteys on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had some boat kneecaps, eh? All I know is that the Baron caught a desperate dealer with a metalhead leader. Metalheads need ego, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. <laughs> yeah. But how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the Metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. All right, so after Jack and Daxter's great haggling skills, they were able to finally get the information out of crew as to why Baron Praxis is trading Eco with the Metalheads. Yeah, remember we were supposed to get the information from crew like a long time ago and report back to Torn. You know, the underground movement that we joined like, I don't know, three parts ago. Yeah, them. We're totally still doing the whole underground thing. Anyway. Uh, we got a great new mission coming up here in the sewers. It's really easy, not too complicated at all. But that heavy information drop. For those of you that didn't really understand what was going on in the cutscene, Baron Praxis has basically cut a deal with the Metalhead saying, I'm going to give you Eco in exchange for you attacking the city. And if you attack the city just enough so that people feel fear enough that they want me to be in power still. So it's really... It's really an interesting plot device, actually. It's kind of more complex than most games would have to offer, so... That's a really nice touch, I thought. That, and, the, and the plot only gets better from there, so if you're watching this just for the plot, I really recommend you do. Because if you have Well, actually, I kind of wish you could play the game and experience it for yourself, but... If you want to relive the plot or something, I don't know, but... It's still a really great storyline for a game. Now, here we are at the sewers. And the sewers, the sewer missions are, they vary in difficulty. This one's actually really easy. Uh, I really like them though. This one's no problem at all. We'll, we'll, we'll breeze through it. No, no, no sweat. No sweat off my brow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so here's the main gimmick to this mission here. All you gotta do is destroy all the turrets. Turrets are just things that shoot at you, as you can see. Stop, stop it. Nope. Get that out of here. All right, so turn on the light here. And here's the first turret. Now, turrets are really easy to dodge. All you have to do is wait till you hear the noise, that noise that click click that tells you it's locking on you, and then you jump or roll. I prefer jumping because it's a little bit easier to time, but you can easily roll out of the way, and I know some people that do that. I don't know who said, my friend used to think that this mission was hard, but oh my god! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, that was, um, that was a reflex. I, I just, I just kicked. I, I apologize. Anyway, I don't know why I'm apologizing to a metalhead, but I don't, I don't even know. Maybe he was just like calling out for help or something. Like, help me, please! And I just punched him in the face. That's no way to, that's no way to be. Anyway, oh wow, I already have full health. But there's some health in these crates. Some more ammo if you need it. I probably need a little bit more ammo. Unnecessary health. I see you. You know your heads glow, right? That, you can't ambush me in the dark if you have a glowing body part. That, that doesn't make sense. It's like ambushing me in the dark with glow sticks. Okay, whatever. I guess I... Alright, I'll play along. I'll play dumb. Now, here I'll show you why the scattergun is actually a great weapon. Especially for these guys. These guys just charge at you and then they'll dive at your feet. And they come in groups and large packs. So the best way to take care of them, or the way I like to take care of them, is I wait for them to get right in a crowd, and I just shoot them right in the face. It's really great. Really. It's a nice strategy that I came up with. I'm sure everyone else uses it, but it's nice to feel like I came up with it. Anyway. Alright, whatever. Some health in this crate, because they're really generous about how, like, again, this mission is extremely easy. Or, they, maybe they thought it was hard, but it's not really. Alright, so, here we go. Good work, 
Again, I recommend the jumping method when it comes to destroying the uh, turrets. Because uh, any other method is really just kind of not that effective. I mean, the rolling does work. I know people that can pull it off really well, but... Okay. Oh, great. Another another ambush. Like, I can't see them. And I, I, Whatever, here we go. <laughs> now, there are two things you can do. You can use Dark Jack or you can use my method. I'm going to go Dark Jack. There we go. There's some Dark Jack screen time. I, know, I, I said I wanted to take the Dark Jack Dark Bomb out for a test drive, and that was a hell of a good test drive in my book. What do you think? That was pretty cool. I don't know. Some of you are unimpressed, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see some new Dark Jack powers that might even impress some of you that are really hard to impress. But anyway. Uh, yeah. They're pretty. It's, if you don't have Dark Jack for that, it's very easy. Just use the method that I showed you in taking out that one group, that other group that we saw earlier, where you just wait for them to all group up, and then you just shoot. So that's really easy. All right. So over here, we got another turret. This one you can actually get a little bit creative with your dodging. Fall into the water and it can't shoot you at all. Then just kind of jump on up and kill it. Really easy stuff. All right. So. Come around here, turn off the light. And oh no, the lights are off! Oh my god! No, don't panic. Just shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them again. And that basically takes care of that. Make sure you collect your skull gems without getting shot, preferably. Is there anything over here? I don't know why this is here. Like, if you check, there's like two ledges here and just some water, but I checked earlier and I didn't find anything. So I don't know why that's there, but whatever. All right, here we go. Last turret. And there we go. Actually really like the sewer missions. That well, I mean they're easy, but still. Oh, oh, what the heck? All right, so no problems here. Uh that was a pretty easy mission. We're actually running up on 14 minutes. That's subtracting cuts and all that, so I'm not sure what else we have time for. But actually, I think this might just be a pretty short part. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's get out of here for now. I don't know if I really missed orbs. I kind of forgot to do a check. I know there are orbs in the sewers, but if I did miss orbs, we'll just come back in the next part and we'll clean it out in a little montage. So no problem there. Anyway... Uh, this has been part 5 of Let's Play Jack 2. Yeah, Let's Play Jack 2. Anyway, uh, if you like my stuff, which, I don't know, it's a possibility you might have, uh, I recommend that you check out some of my other stuff. I did some other LPs, some glitch videos. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, it's not really nice. It's, it's, it's fairly adequate. Anyway, um, I'm Captain Boomerang. Comment, rate, subscribe, the usual YouTube BS. And I hope to see you guys at my next part. Look, Donut Hole. Why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto-root the pipes?